All my hearties, a very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue, and we are, of course, live on the big one, TikTok just for you. Welcome, 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 I say. Lots to talk about tonight, Friday night. Nothing gets past me, and here we are live. Now, we did pop up earlier, so some of you of me have managed to pop into that. And, of course, you can catch up on the earlier one on our YouTube channel, Scotty McClue YouTube channel. No, just pop that straight into your search and it should come up big style. How good is that? And uh, it's always uh, difficult to know when is exactly the best time to catch everybody live on TikTok, of course. But that one tonight, just after five o'clock, was very, very, very good indeed. And then, of course, tonight we pop up just to say hi to you as well. You can't say fairer than that unless you can't pronounce your Fs or your THs. So welcome, welcome, welcome to Scotty McClure Live for a Friday night here on TikTok just for you, saying dinky-doo to every single one of you. We are absolutely international. And to prove it, our first uh, contributor says hi. That's George. And our second one says, Bonsoir. Bonsoir en français. Yes, fantastic. Brian, lovely to have you with us. And dinky you do, Scotty McClue, here for every single one of you, just for a bit of banter during the lockdown. Nice, happy, positive stuff. So there we are. No negativity. Any trolls, any idiots, we will just bin them off. Anybody asking me to say something that they might sound rude, we will bin them off. That sort of idea. So there we go. And off they jolly well pop. Hello. Hello, vampire. How are you tonight? Peas and Carrots has just joined us. Hello. I'm not a troll. Good heavy flow. Good for you. Keep it that way, because Scotty McClue loves to talk to the intelligentsia. So there you are. Thanks, miss you on the radio, Brian Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We Mo says, hello, Scotty. Hello, Mo. Good to have you with us, of course. And words of congratulations for my mate, Sam, who served in the Falklands. Always good to hear about Sam serving in the Falklands and many, many congratulations. Wonderful. Well done for you. Uh, Big Red has followed us. Oh, guys, please do follow us. Very, very important. We're very sh short of followers. Now, here's the dafties on asking questions. Do I support this? Do I support that? Uh, what's my pronouns? All that rubbish. No time for any of that nonsense, okay? Only time for interesting, sensible discussion. Let's go, says Real. Hello, says Peppa. Dinky do. Can everybody follow, please? As soon as you come on, follow, follow, follow. So there we are. Welcome, 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 I say. Looking good, Scotty. I thank you. Thank you, Meep. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you? Ragnar, lovely to have you back with us. And dinky do to you. Hello there from Glasgow. Jay, welcome, welcome from Glasgow. Always good to have you with us. And dinky do. Now, don't forget to follow me as soon as you come on. Very important. There you are. I'm just setting this up so we can see everything there. Fantastic stuff. Let's go, 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 go. Let's go, 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 go. Uh, sick of it, people who try to trance music are far too persistent. They don't take no for an answer. They don't take no for an answer. Very good, Gil. I see what you did there. So there we are. <laughs> Fantastic. Hello from Iran. Swani, lovely to have you with us from Iran. Good to have you with us and welcome. What did you have for tea, mate? Says Vampire. Oh, Vampire, tonight was wonderful. It was actually egg sandwiches. Now, there's a delicacy you don't see so much nowadays. And uh, a cup of builder's tea. So there we are. Who's your dues, Scotty? Ask us a fit like mum. Good to hear you. We as the night are a good kind of folk in our lady. Ah, Ken. Now, there we go. So there we go. Uh, probably you had better go because you're in the wrong place. 
but all probably gone. There we are, idiot. Right, wasted his time. So there we go. Now, guys, remember, I will just block you if it's something I don't approve of or it's something inappropriate. Block, 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 block. Block, block. Hello from inside a volcano. Oh, Tomo. Yes, that will be hot, I say. So there we are. Now, excellent stuff. Real Dababi, you need to go and just grow up. Fantastic. Now, I have posted a grow up video for you on there. So fantastic. Chip butty or a crisp sandwich. When you say a crisp sandwich, do you mean a sandwich with crisps in it? Or do you mean a sandwich that says gone a bit crisp by sitting too long? I'm heading to basic training with the army. Ragnar, good man, you take great care of yourselves. So there. How's that in the big picture beside you, pal? That's me, pal. And the tulips. I think the tulips are nearly at the end. Evening fitting, Scotty. We like a teen. I used to go to, uh, I mind going down to the sale room in the teen, uh, and, and it was grand. There we are in the tuna cell. So there we are. Kerry's just joined us. Dinky do Kerry. Okay, says Real de Babby. Yep, absolutely. You're bigger than that, Real de Babby. You can say more interesting things than that. This is cool, says Swanee. You like it, Swanee. I thank you. Welcome. Your dog is so cute. He is very, very nice. Uh, more likes, more likes attracts the viewers. Do you smoke a pipe? Not for about 40 years. So there you are. I smoked a pipe 40 years ago. They're wonderful stuff. Nice hat. Thank you, Tomo. Very much appreciated. Very, very important hat, that. There we are. are you still on the radio, Scotty? Not right at the moment, we more, but there's a lot of talk of going back on really soon because everybody's missing it. You sound like Oliver Reed. I thank you, Paul. What a fine actor he was. You're late the night, Scotty. Why? Numpty Heat, it's 20 past nine. We always pop up at nine and do till about 10. So I don't think we're late at all. And we were early, earlier. So there we are. And remember, you never say Scotty McClue's late or off you go. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you? Seagull, better for seeing you. The man, Scotty, says AJ. Cool accent, says Tomo. I thank you, Tomo. Very, very much appreciated. Good to have you all with us. And uh, don't worry about the trolls. We'll just bin them off big style. I notice they don't join us so much now because they realize this is beyond their understanding. So I understand that. Be back soon on radio. Brian Blair. Everybody misses Scotty McClue on radio. And Scotty McClue misses you. A dinky do, I say. And that show should never, ever, ever, ever have been taken off Scott FM. But I did uh, go to somewhere even bigger down to Manchester, then Sheffield after that, then over to Manchester. Hail, says it. There was a lot of hail earlier, yes. Good evening from Ireland, says Damien. Damien, lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. So there we are. Good to have you with us. So uh, the what have we got here? Oh, dear, William. Well, I'll not read that out. Um, how cool is this, me and you, dinky do? Yes, very cool. Can I get a hoya? You can, Chloe. What's your favorite food? Oh, Swanee, anything at all I can get. You know, so there we are. Any nice foods I can get. A little bit of rice, a little bit of chicken, that sort of stuff. Salt and vinegar or cheese and onion. You're giving me very, very, very difficult choices, Real. Because I actually like them both. But I think the cheese and onion change your expression a little bit less. So there we are. Would you do GMTV? I think you'd be a good replacement for that pair. Hollywood, I think, yes. I think it's time Scotty McClure was on Good Morning. Yes, you have a nice hat. I thank you, it's. So there we are. Same as Real. Yep. You and I have got a lot in common, Real. Well said, says Swanee. Are you upset? Scotland losing to France in the rugby. I never, ever, ever get upset about our sport. 
There we are. Never, ever, ever. There you are. Because, I mean, I, I love France. I love Scotland. I love Ireland. I love Wales. You know, uh, can I read your tarot card, Scotty? Tell you the gloom and doom that's coming. Not to hit. There is zero gloom and doom. Because I've already read the cards. Now, uh, become the new MP, please, says Vampire. Do you think Scotty McLean would make a good MP? So there we are. Fantastic. And uh, Tom is saying, can you show us your hair? There it is there, Tom. Can you see it? There we go. Lovely. Little bit trimmed. Nice and neatly trimmed. Get the badges out and get mash out as soon as possible. Make a few pounds. Make a few pounds and improve my cameras. Yes, that's the stuff. Hey, Scotty, Angie, you're very, very kind coming back and joining us because we did a big pop-up earlier and it was very, very popular, I see. I've also got, uh, talking of a few pounds, if you ever wanted to um, paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClure. Can I get an, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you wouldn't make a good MP. You tell the truth. Well, this is it, Hollywood. I do tell the truth. And that's not always popular in politics, is it? But I wouldn't like to tell you a whopper and then be proved wrong. Uh, you know, I couldn't bear that. Will you be voting for Alex Salmon and Alba? Skin Bob, that's an interesting one. I haven't got my head round it yet, but that brings in two independence parties. With the Greens, that's three independence parties. So there you are. Do you like a whiskey? No, ACAC. I used to enjoy a whiskey, but I don't drink. Scotty, it's your turn to PayPal me. Well, Numpty Head, you have been generous in your day, I must say. Checking with you. Quite right, Kian. There we are. Big Chung says, are you single? Is that a proposal, Big Chung? There we go. Fantastic stuff. Right, Laura's just joined us. Welcome, welcome. Good to have you with us. Friday night, Scotty McClue saying, dinky-doo, please follow me on TikTok. We're short of followers. We've been up for four weeks now. We've got five and a half thousand. That should be five and a half million. Southampton will win the FA Cup. Oh, well, Super Saints. Is there any point in us going to the game? Two independence parties will just water down the vote. Terrible idea. How happy, Squirrel? If you've got independence, the vote will be for independence. You know, because what you're going to do, you're going to say, do you support independence? One party, yes. Another party, yes. So there were a third party, yes. Then you get your independence referendum. Are you having a drink tonight, Scotty? Yep, I'm having the water. I don't take the alcohol. Hello, says Jamal. Hello, sir. Dinky do. Good evening, Scotty, says Reese. Mm. Jamal says, can I get a shout out? You've just had one. So there we are. Jason, what rubbish are you talking about? Why don't you just go away, grow up, and scroll through some junk? That would suit you. You're not smart enough to be on here. Scotland will be a skint nation of independent. Akak, where on earth do you get that nonsense from? Right? It would be immediately 40 billion pounds better off. In fact, 75 billion pounds better off immediately. Have you ever been to Wales? Yes, I have. But I haven't been to South Wales. I've been to North Wales. Is this the real Scotty? It is one, two, three. Sorry to disappoint you, but I am here. What's your opinion on the something lineup? Don't know what you mean by that. Lovely, it's my mate's birthday, Arnold. He loves the life. He's 20 today. Happy birthday to Arnold at 20. Should the Edinburgh Festival be on this year? Is it safe? Mm, I don't know. It's early days, isn't it? So there we are. The news was saying Westminster gives Scotland 70% of its budget. Uh, that is not true. So there you are. Yes, they might have given it a bit more during the pandemic, but uh, certainly that is not true. No, no. We give Westminster 
75 billion pounds and they give us back our pocket money I think it's about 30 billion Scotty were you a famous person in a previous life um, oh well I'm a famous person in this life and the previous life I would need to check through my previous lives you see do you like only fools and horses yes indeed i've met some of them well not so many of the horses not disappointed starstruck oh one two three have you ever been to northern ireland no i have not uh, yes what am i talking about yes i am i was just saying what am i northern ireland i was thinking about going actually right into uh, various places but of course i've been to northern ireland yes the Giant's Causeway, fantastic. Bally Castle, there you go. Love your accent, I thank you very much, Stugs. Good, says Skin Bob. Scotty, my friend, Thomas is a big fan. Thank you, Kim. Why do the Scots hate the English so much? Music, I don't know where you got that from. The Scots adore the English. Absolutely adore them, but they're not so keen on being run from Westminster. That's the difference. So it's it's not a question of Scotland and England. It's a question of central government, London, running a country 500 miles away. Uh, time you were back on the radio, mate. What a laugh all these years ago. Sturdy, outstandingly funny. France 18, Scotland 20, says Hollywood. Well, there you are. What was your first job, pal? My first job, pal, was on the boats as the cabin boy, sweeping up and taking the fares. Uh, not pulse, I think you're on the wrong thing, so I'll ban you for life. Guys, say bye-bye to not pulse being banned for life for being an idiot. There we go. Go right gone now remember guys if you come on with inappropriate stuff off right away gone Scotty can you recite the Buns Night poem without referring to a sheet of A4 of course I can numpty could recite the lot right I don't think there's anything written on A4 I don't know but the Buns wrote on A4 so there you go uh, but uh, I think he wrote on uh, on something much smaller than that did he not uh, no, the Welsh hate the British. Well, there aren't any British as such apart from Britain is a land mass. So there's no country called Britain. There are four countries on the land mass. Do you think England should vote for Scotland to become independent? Well, Skin Bob, here's what you could do. You could have England voting for independence because they've been fed that they are keeping the Scots alive. They've been fed that rubbish. So it's time for them to have a little bit of karma and have English independence. Cut Scotland loose. Cut Northern Ireland loose. Northern Ireland could join up with Scotland. What about that? So there you are. Scotland could join up with Ireland. So the, what type of boat? A 65-foot MFV... Thanks, but Scotland have their own government and could not survive alone, even living off oil. Uh, no, wrong again. They're not living off oil, Music Monkey. That's not your main defining characteristic for Scotland. You've got offshore and onshore economy. And Scotland could survive extremely well, yes, with hanging on to its own income, and that's before it even starts rejoining the EU or trading again internationally. Remember, Scotland survived for thousands of years independently. And then by jiggery pokery and by King William pulling the rug, Scotland was forced into union, which Queen Anne, who shouldn't have been there, she was parachuted in, Twisted it around, so there you go. Celtic Glasgow says, you are English, shush. You're English, Celtic Glasgow. Oh, an English Celtic Glasgow. That's terrible what you're saying. No, but it's factual. Facts are facts, Scott. So there you are. Scotland could join up with the Faroe Islands. Yeah, I think the Faroe Islands might want to just do their own thing. Celtic Glasgow. You're talking about IRA. You're about 40 years behind the times. Gone. 
Finished. No requirement. All right. Good Friday agreement. Everything absolutely dinky do in Ireland. Don't need any of all that nonsense. So there we are. Now, random. What we're doing with you, random, is a lifetime ban because you're an idiot. Dirty, filthy, wee midden. Random's gone. Say bye-bye, random, every day. Excellent. Now, I'm not asking much, Scotty. What was the outcome of two truths and a lie? Aha. Right. The three bits of information. Are we ready, folks? Last week, we played two truths and a lie. And we want to finish it so that crab fishing knows what was what. Here they are. Number one. I used to own a shopping center. No board, no directors, nobody else. Me, Scotty McClure, used to own a shopping center. Truth or lie? <clears throat> Number two. Number two. I conducted one of the world's great orchestras on the stage of Manchester Arena in front of 20,000 people. Truth or lie? Number three. When I boarded an aircraft and it took off, the pilot had to re-trim it because of Scotty McClue's 18 stone of solid muscle. Look at my arm. Do you see it? I can't even get a hand round it. Right? Solid muscle. All right. So which one is true? Which one is a lie? Good thinking. Join up. Nice one, Brian Blair. There you are. We need to give back Northern Ireland. Give it back to where? Give it back to where? Right? That's what you need to ask. It hasn't been taken. Northern Ireland is sitting there as the six counties annexed in 1922. Give it back to where? From whom? For what? Yes? <clears throat> All right. Would it be wanted back? Shush, you English youth, says Celtic Glasgow. <laughs> two plus two can equal five. It's my new paper release on the subject. Professor Nupteed, good luck with that. Dinky do. Oi, big man. Sparky says lies. So there you are. Which are lies? Well, there we are. Do tell strong man, big strong man, John Douglas. You had your jag yet? Fabulous cars. They are lovely cars. Well, Scotty, Irish, says Empire. Give it back to Ireland. Right. So you want Dublin to pay for the North. Is this what you're saying? You think that Dublin, your money should be going to Northern Ireland. That's what you're telling me. A new woo. So there we are. Right. There's Crumbs. He's getting a lifetime ban for being an idiot. <laughs> How dearly. <laughs> Crumbs is gone, guys. So there we are. Can you all follow me, please? We need follow, 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 follow. Scotty McClure, how do you do? Dinky do, Sparky. Farming, you're from Ireland. Have you ever been in an arm wrestling competition? Uh, yes, I mean, it's just a walk in the park, but I don't do it, John Douglas, because I like to play the piano. And I don't want to damage maybe a wrist or a tendon or something like that. Scotty, hope you've had a good week. Does McClure deserve the Nobel Peace Prize? Or the Nobel Peace Prize, are you? Yes, I think Scotty McClure should get the Nobel Peace Prize. So there we are. Ha ha, trying to say my game again. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> there we go. Uh, no, I didn't say that. Read out of, read out the one next. There, there. Your wrist and your tendons. Absolutely. Fantastic. Scotty, get your squeeze box out. I've got the squeeze box there. I'll give you a tune in a minute. Supposedly, the boat jam in Suez is costing the world economy 400 million an hour. I wouldn't be surprised. It was a Scotsman from Argyle that held the shareholding 
in the Suez Canal until Nasser went in and raided the Suez Canal offices and nationalized it in 1956, which caused the Suez Crisis, which very sadly caused Anthony Eden his premiership. He got stabbed in the back by Harold Macmillan. Scotty, are you a Sturgeon man? Well, I'm apolitical. I think Nicola Sturgeon is a first-class first minister, but it's very interesting the developments today with yet another independence party being talked of launching. Have you been to Aberfoyle? Many, many, many a time I've been to Aberfoyle. I know it very, very well. Up past the Buchanan Castle. Scotty, why aren't you watching the rugby, lad? I could watch it any time at all. Dinky-doo, Scotty. Eddie Doyle, dinky-doo. Because I'm not watching the rugby because I'm doing a live TikTok and everybody's watching me. <laughs> so there we are. That's a fairly good thing, isn't it? Uh, we drink of water, dear. Oh, that's lovely, that. We're only on for another 20 minutes anyway. Scotty, what about the Tate and Lyle sheds next to Capolo, the old sugar houses? Tate and Lyle, well, the Lyles were a Greenock family, you see. So there we are, and I knew them. 22 people watching at the moment, but thousands watch. Well over half a million have seen all my TikTok lives. That's why I'm rather irritated that only 5,500 are following because there should be 50,000 following. Have you ever got food stuck in your beard? Not for long. So there we are. So David Hausman, you'll be amazed how it all ratches up. I mean, last week I popped up 13,000 watched the live. You know, that's amazing, isn't it? So there, so don't be fooled by how many right now. Were you in on the IRA, Scotty? Uh, no. <coughs> grew out of the Republican Brotherhood. Do you think Glasgow could be independent? Independent of what, Skin Bob? So there we are. Glasgow can do anything. But what would be the point? Scotland, do you like the royal family, the comedy show, or with, um, with uh, the one with, that uh, the late Carolyn Aheron was in? Nikki... Um, Oh, come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. Scotty, put your Skype on. Uh, no, no Skypes tonight, uh, Numpteed. We've not got time. So there we are. Your videos have a max views of 500 on one, but not the lives, David. This is what you obviously don't understand. The lives get thousands because it all mounts up. People come and go. They drop in, drop out, stay for a while, what have you. All right. And uh, you look at Scotty McClure's YouTube channel, I think you'll find there's about 600, 700,000 people have seen it. Do you see what I mean? So you've got to remember, I used to broadcast a quarter of a million people every half hour. That, think about it, that's six half hours. What does that give you? One and a half million, is that right? So there we go. So... These are very, very, very big figures because remember that the media has very fragmented on social media. Have a look at your own videos, David, and tell me what the numbers are on them. If you go on to Scott McClure's YouTube, you'll see I think it's 240,000 have looked at one video. So there we are, you see. Everybody knows. Uh, right, ring. You keep asking the same question. I'll just bin you for spamming. Remember, if you spam, guys... It's a bin job. Gone. Gone. Okay, that's him. No spamming. Once I've answered your question, you don't spam. No one is on your profile videos. Mind the most views in one video, 500, the rest are around 300. Yes, but how many do you have? How long have these videos been up? There's one, in fact, you're talking nonsense. There's one from a couple of weeks ago has had 11,000 views. Look at it. Scroll down. I'm wearing a blue jumper. 11,000. Okay. 
There you are. Have a wee look at that. See how you go. There's another one with uh, Andy Murray in it. 17,000. All right. Have you got that, David? There you are. You go and have a wee look at that. Go back to your bed, says John Douglas. <laughs> you have to educate me on the two independence parties. I thought if it halved SNP votes, Labour wins. Well, Labour could only win the happy school if anybody voted for them. And if they're going to be either voting for the SNP or for the new ALBA party, they're not going to be voting for Labour, are they? So there we are. Hi, Scotty. Kev from Eagle 2, big sister, 150 miles, of course, off the coast of Shetland. Yes, she's a duke. Come in to, to Solemn Vaux. There we are. I've never seen you have more than 200 people in a live. David, how do I, uh, how do I get this across to you? Um, the other day, 11,000. Just before that, 13,000 on a live. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Can you get that into your head? Yeah? And what does it matter, anyway, whether it's 15,000, 20,000? Do you see what I mean? It's around that sort of area. So I pop up for an hour, 15,000, come and join me. Do you get it? Do you understand? Remember, who's doing the lives, David? You or me? Who sees the figures? You or me? Okay? Have you got that? So there we are. Daft as a brush. Smart guy, Scotty. I thank you. I don't have any. I only use this account to troll. Well, in that case, let's bin you for life, David. There you go. Right, guys, David's leaving as he's gone back to his bed. Dafty. There you go. Wonderful. Right. Uh, now, greetings from mighty Bhutan. Doesn't matter what the numbers are. If you make one person smile, you're a success. John Douglas, I can't believe you've said that because that's my philosophy. You know, somebody said to me, you popped up there on another platform, I won't mention it, and a couple of thousand people joined you. I said, well, could you imagine if they all turned up to your shop? Could you imagine if you were a priest or a vicar or a minister and they all turned up at your church? Could you serve them? <laughs> so I'm not bothered about that. Not knife. Jesus loves you. There we are. Yes, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. So there we are. Fantastic. What are your pronouns? Mia, you never, ever, ever ask anybody their pronouns. That's their business. Where are you broadcasting from tonight? Ah, Peter, broadcasting from McClue Towers tonight. Fantastic. Who's the lads in the background? That's Lord Reith, the Labrador, and Scotty McClure, and the Tulips. There we are. You're not as popular as you think, mate. No, I'm more popular than I think. I never fail to be amazed at the people that come up on a daily basis and go, Scotty, <laughs> you'll not remember I used to phone you. Uh, there we are. So very, 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 very popular, David. There we are. You're certainly not as popular. Right, let me give you David's figures on his account, guys. Zero followers, zero following, Zero likes. David, I think you're not as popular as you think, mate. <laughs> we love it. There we go. <laughs> so you're a TikTok celeb, apparently new. There we are, a very, very big celeb out with TikTok, but very big on TikTok. Just leave him alone, man. It's not knife, he's gone. Don't worry, not knife, he's gone. So there we are. Always borrow money from a pessimist. He won't expect it back. <laughs> the reason we can't see the dark side of the moon is because it's in the dark. Numpty Heed, you're not daft, are you? Much. I uh, curb stomped. <laughs> so there we are. Charlie, off you pop. There you go. Bye, Charlie. Just say my mind, shall I? Guys, if you're coming on, remember, sensible conversation. We haven't got time for trolling. They have to go. 
Off the jolly well pop. Well said. There we are. Oh, no, that's a shocker. <laughs> me, says Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Guys, can you all follow me, please? I'm still shocked that you've been to Northampton. Well, everybody goes to Northampton if you're into quality shoes. There we are. What do you think of the time traveller 2582 on TikTok? Well, I'm a time traveller myself, so I'm a big fan of time travelling. <coughs> What's your opinion on fireworks? Seems to be going off at the time. And I'm the best. I would ban them, Hollywood. I would ban fireworks, make them illegal. You know, if you set fireworks off, somebody comes round and puts you in the back of the van, takes you off to the cop shop. Yes, and then you get charged because they are dangerous and the, the dogs used to get very, very frightened. Dinky do. I like David better. Yes, well, you go and enjoy David's company. But remember, nobody's watching, nobody's following them, nobody's uh, a fan. Why would someone make an account just to troll people? They must be severely lacking in life. Steve James Jams, you can tell, they're poor souls. I don't really mind the trolls. I'd rather we didn't have to bother with them because time's tight. But uh, but they're poor wee souls. They're very, very lost. Uh, you could be the next Doctor Who. I mean, you get somebody like Scotty McClure pops up. What's the best you can say? What's your pronouns? <laughs> you know, so there we are. Kevin says, Alex Salmon's been a naughty boy today. Not at all, Kevin. I think they should have got Alex Salmond back in as the president of the party. Yes, just as soon as all that stuff was gone. Tell me a Scottish joke. So there we are, a Scottish joke. Joke the Coleman. <laughs> What's the lottery numbers? I can only give you mine, Brian, and I'm pretty good. I was within five of uh, winning. I only had five wrong numbers. Do you think social media is a good thing? Well, as far as Scotty McClure and TikTok goes, it's a fabulous thing. A wonderful, wonderful thing. What's your favourite alcoholic drink, if non-alcohol? Uh, well, I don't drink alcohol at all. But I used to like a wee cider. Though they're with you, Scotty. Ban the fireworks. Organise displays only. Absolutely, Angie. There are Celtic or Rangers. What you'd be best to do new, go and see the two teams play and then make up your mind who you want to follow. But remember, you can change. If you don't fancy one, you can change. Like, I support Rangers and Celtic, you know, just depending on how they're doing. But you need two scarves. That's the thing. That's, but don't have the scarf. Don't have your Celtic scarf poking out your pocket when you're up the Rangers' end as a Rangers supporter. Are you with me? There we are. Uh, I love the trolls, says Kyle. Right, Kyle, you go and join the trolls, son. We'll just give you a wee ban, and you can go and join them. And say, I want to be with the trolls. I'll say bye-bye to Kyle, everybody. He's gone with the trolls. Woo! Fantastic. Right. Who have we got here? Hello. Uh, can everybody follow me, please? Very, very important. You're not Scottish. You're a Tory. Oh, so you have to be of a certain... Oh, so Tories are only of a certain nationality. Ah, that's wonderful. That means there are no Tories in Scotland. Wow, what an interesting thing, Mango Matt. There we are. Uh, and uh, what does a Tory look like? What made you think I would be a Tory? Because I'm actually apolitical. Uh, have you ever thought of learning your P's and your Q's, Scotty? Oh, P's and Q's, Numpteed. Have you ever thought of eating your P's and your Q's? Defo organized displays only Partick Thistle. There's a superb one. Yes, absolutely. I sadly had a dog hurt by fireworks that had to be put down. Dark Fox, I am so sorry to hear that. Oh, you're cheeky, says Susan Smith. Oh, you have to be, Susan. Fair enough, says you, absolutely. How are you? We're wonderful, Susan. Thank you for joining us in Dinky Doo. Uh, good day, laddie. Great to see you, says Doodle Dragon. There we are. Uh, Wild Davidson, I'm a Protestant Rangers man. Now, 
Protestant is a denomination of Christianity. So what has that got to do with being a Rangers man? You can be any religion you like and be a Rangers man. Yes, so it makes absolutely no difference. There's no connection with religion. One is a denomination of Christianity. The other is a football team. Where is your connection? We're all really struggling to see. Yes, absolutely. Bye, Kyle. We'll miss you. Oh, who's Kyle again? Sorry, I'd forgotten him. Celtic Rangers or our broth? Oh, I think we all like our broth. So there are. Do you think Roy Keane should be the new manager of Celtic? Well, Skin Bob, should Scotty McClue have a wee go? Should I throw my hat in the ring? To, uh, to mon the hoops by Kyle, just like radio. You should support whoever's top of the league. Then you're perpetually happy. Well, happy squirrel, that's what I do. I look for the winning team and I support them. And that's what everybody should do. How can Alex Hammond fight for independence? So there we are. Uh, I think we'll have to say bye to you on that one i'll mute you i won't ban you there we are and maybe you can come back on at some point uh, so there we are can you say no i can't say no 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 i can't say that so there we are uh what about the minimum age for buying fireworks should be 99 well, yeah, there's a few bangers there, I can tell you. What do you think about pets off Leeds and the seal that died? I was very, very, very sorry about that. And my dog once got attacked by a pet off a lead. So it's, uh, it's not good stuff. Now, there you are. So I would say if you can't trust your dog, on the lead with them. Religion is only to keep people divided. Sparky. Religion doesn't divide at all. There's no need to have any division in religion. What does cause a problem is a lack of knowledge and understanding. Religion, if you look at the whole thing, right? Protestant and Catholic, are they different religions? No, they're identical. They're Christianity. Yes, so there we are. So there's no division at all. If you're genuinely a devout religious person, if you're uh, sincere about in your protestations against being run from Rome, yes, then you will have absolutely no problem, yes, if you are serious in your Catholicism, that you're happy with transubstantiation and the uh, Pope being God's representative on earth, no problem at all. So there's no division. I don't see, this is an imaginary thing, this division. It's the same religion, right? Same religion. So there you are. Uh, the person you banned. Oh, the person I banned, oh, they've gone. There we are. Hello, Scotty Long John here. Nice to see you this fine evening. They should make a statue of Scotty McClure. Steve Jams Jams, what a nice idea. Yes, I thought they should pop one up in George Square in Glasgow. There we are. Scotty McClure for Celtic manager. How would you define the difference between Rangers and Celtic? I was told it was a class thing. Uh, well, it can't be music because Scotland does not support a class system. There is only one class in Scotland, and that is the Scottish people. So there you are. Hi from Turkey, Captain Melio, they ask. Hi from Turkey and dinky-doo. Okay, thanks everyone. No problem, you. Uh, so there we are. Now... Yes, I've been growing up as a Protestant Rangers person, but I don't like the violence. Yeah, but you've had your head stuffed with things that there's a them and an us. And commercially, it's advantageous to have a them and an us. Yeah. 
you'd need an MS. Could you imagine how much the politicians would panic if there was just us? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So there we go. Are you not having a beer? It's Friday. I don't drink, Neil. I have a water on a Friday night. What are your thoughts on Harry still visiting Dumbarton? I'm delighted he's the Earl of Dumbarton. Am I correct? I'm absolutely delighted. I think Harry's quite a good guy. I didn't like when they did that interview. I know they did it for a few quid, but uh, nobody won anything there, I'm afraid. And I don't think anybody was fooled by the moaning and whinging. So there you are. So that was a wee bit of a black mark, I'm afraid. But we can get over that and move on. And I was looking the other day, the Duke of Windsor, who was only called the Duke of Windsor when he decided to go, his brother, King George VI and him, were packing up China in the uh, sitting room at Fort Belvedere, yeah, down at Virginia Water. And uh, that was Edward VIII's house. And he was banished. So once he made his abdication speech on the BBC in front of Lord Reith and uh, the whole of the British Empire, listening on the Empire service, from uh, a little bedroom in Windsor Castle, he went straight to Portsmouth and uh, the destroyer, was it the Fury? Was it HMS Fury that was waiting? There was a destroyer waiting for him. And him and Walter Monckton, his lawyer and advisor, they went on board the destroyer. And as soon as they were on, the deck vibrated, the telegraphs rang, sorry, the deck vibrated, and they left for Le Havre, I think it was, if I remember. So there we are. And that was him in exile, the king in exile. But for the rest of his life, he kept his military appointments. And for the rest of his life, he was a British field marshal in the British Army. Wonderful stuff. So there we are, as you see. So I'm afraid I'm not for banning Harry or anything like that. Hello, I am from Russia. Previt, Previt. Lovely to have you with us from Russia. And when you go tonight, I say to you, Dosvedania. You've mellowed since the 90s. No skin, Bob. Haven't mellowed at all. The thing is, you may not have noticed, but I don't have the phone lines on here. Yes, so I haven't changed at all. There we are. Do you remember Hercules the bear? I do, Steve James Jams. And I remember he escaped. <laughs> what type of dog do you have? I keep Jack Russell's Labrador's Jack Fox, uh, Dark Fox. There he is there. There's old Lord Reith the Labrador, called after Lord Reith of the BBC. <coughs> Anyone else think this guy talks much? No breffo. Nobody else thinks that. If you think that, I would suspect you are of a very, very low IQ and you're struggling to understand what I'm saying. Okay, Breffel, you can stay with us and learn, watch and learn, Breffel, but if you're struggling, I'd be delighted to give you a lifetime ban. Please release me, let me go. What's your opinion on the Falklands War? Um, the Falklands War was 39 years ago. That's my opinion. So go away, Brefo, says everybody. That's one good-looking guy behind you. I thank you, Corey. There he is. Uh, now, what have we got here? Hellbent, I think. Shall I give Hellbent a lifetime ban, guys? Or do you think he's just not very bright? What do we think? There we are. Did you count two plus two? Numpty, what are you doing? <laughs> what nonsense are you talking? There we are. Uh, EA, you can go. You've lost the plot. EA is gone, guys. Uh, I'll mute him. So he can't comment, but he can watch. How annoying is that? <laughs> Lovely. Right, there we are. You're so funny. Thank you, Diesel. From Ireland, dinky do people make Glasgow, Susan Smith, they don't half. They don't half make Glasgow, I tell you. Guys, can everybody follow me, please? 
Very, very important. You need to follow Scotty McClure. Otherwise, what's the point in you? Uh, Dinky Doo, can you tell my niece Harry to have a shower? So there we are. She's too busy on Roblox. There we are, Maria and the bunny. <laughs> Pardon me. Are Rangers the middle class pompous folk and Celtic the good working class man? No music monkey because there's no pompous folk and no working class people in Glasgow. We don't do it. Ouija's are Ouija's. We're all the same. So we don't have, uh, and the good working class, I mean, what you to define the working class for me? There's definitely a class system in Scotland. Well, hell bent. I have never, ever, ever experienced it, you know, and I think I know, uh, you know, most of the ordinary folk in Scotland, and I know most of the Scottish aristocracy, and, uh, you know, and they know me, and um, there is just... No class thing from that point of view. I talk to them all the same. I will give them their rank and their title. So if I'm talking to the Duke, I'll say, Hello, Your Grace, how are you? And then I'll call him by his first name. And he's delighted with that. So there we are. He says, Hello, Scotty, how are you? So there we go. Now, uh, Megan's a fool. Harry's only wanting to protect his family from experience. So there we are. Well, I was wondering the other day, I mean, it's up to the royal family entirely who they let in, but should they have stuck to the old aristocratic thing and think only have somebody with experience of royalty? But then again, you've got Kate, who is an outstanding person and an absolute asset to our royal family because that's what they are guys uh me and frog rabbit ribbit little frog i live in windsor and i've no idea about all this history you talk well music monkey if you go to the great park gate you'll see scotty McClure. there's a pub called the prince harry now i think and it used to be the two tons and that was owned by Uncle Tom. And then you've got the castle there, of course. And you've got um, St. George's Chapel, which is the home to the uh, Knights of the Garter. The military Knights of Windsor, they live in the houses. If you're looking up towards the tower, then they would be on your right that's the place. So all the history is all around you. And if you go up uh, to the top of the castle you're visiting and you can see the chapel of Eton College. Fantastic. Take a wee. I'll tell you what you should do. Once all this lockdown's over, uh, take a little boat on the Thames and motor past up and down past Windsor. I don't know if the old Windsor Bell's still going. One of the steamships that used to ply the Thames there. The only thing I believe is my family. No religion in my life whatsoever. Well, you say that, Sparky, but, um, you know, what do you believe in? Do you think mankind is the superior power on the earth? Back in the day, Rangers helped out Celtic with money, but most clubs were set up for charity. They were, Brian. You're quite right. So there we are. Uh, who have we got here? I know they're similar, but it's just a religion I believe in. Much love to my Catholic people. Well, what does Catholic mean? Catholic means universal. And we were all Catholic until the Reformation. You see? <clears throat> so there you go. Hello, Dinky Doo. What do you think of the Scottish NHS pay rise? I think it's absolutely excellent. It's at 4%. So there we are, Dinky Doo. You're a really handsome man. I thank you. So there we are. Can we get a cheeky check? Yes, you can, Ogandi. So shout out to Scott, please. I love the Scottish accent, says Charlie. Somebody was telling me I'm not Scottish, I'm Charlie. Well, not nonsense. Diesel says I'm 52. Good for you. 
Prayers for my leg surgery. It's Mr. We are praying for your leg surgery. Get strong and well. Love and strength from everybody in the universe. Okay. Well done in the trolls, bro. No, we'll sort them out, Music Monkey. So there we are. What's your opinion on life? The only true wealth is life. Okay, so don't fall for the money. There we are. Can you say happy birthday? Uh, waste man, I think you need to grow up big style, really big style. And I think you want to ask yourself, is that really the level you operate at? Are you sitting at gutter level? Remember, you're on Scotty McClure's TikTok. It's probably the most stylish TikTok on TikTok, TikTok talk. Yeah, it's for highly intelligent people. And a half wit like you comes on and asks a question like that. Now, <clears throat> Scotty McClure has been 36 years in professional television and radio. Do you seriously think I'm going to say what you've put there? So, Grow up and look at my video called Grow Up from last night. <clears throat> do you want to hear a funny joke? Or do you mean as opposed to an unfunny joke? There's Gary Gallagher saying both votes for one of the parties. I love the accent. Guys, stop talking nonsense. He's really nice. Thank you, Mohammed. You've lost the plot, says Kieran. I have never, ever lost the plot. I am the plot, Kieran. So there we are. So get that round, you chum. Ha-ha, says Abigail. All right, Scotty. Hello, Yon. Lovely to have you with us. Indeed, you what a lovely name. Get a grip, lads. Absolutely. Hello, Scotty. How are you? Wise why? You're another one that needs to just go and grow up. All right, your dog's looking great, lovely animal, beautiful animal. Wise needs to, in fact, Wise, I think we'll bin you, because you're daft. Right, Wise is a wee troll, folks, and uh, we've just binned him for being an idiot. Imagine coming on with something like that. Right, there we are. I remember Hercules the bear. Do you remember the Cameron Bear Park in the 80s? Cameron House, sadly, at the moment, fire damaged. And people sadly lost their lives in the fire. Uh, Scotty, I'm Professor Numpty. I come up with Schecht. Good for you. They were a binned wise guy for being an idiot. Used to listen to him, Scott FM, when I was away back in Glasgow. Bjorn, fantastic. Shout out to Scott Mack, please. Yes, Scott Mack. Wise has gone big style. Uh, now, Pixie, you never, ever, ever, ever ask anybody their pronouns, ever. There we are. Uh, tell me a joke. I went into the doctor's. I said, could you help me out? He said, which way did you come in? Hmm. <coughs> we're doing, you were doing fantastic until you said there's no class system. It's in all countries. Music Monkey, that's in your imagination right? You have obviously bought in to an imaginary class system. Yeah? Remember, if anybody thinks they're better than you, you don't want to know them. Okay? So there you are. You don't want to know them. The West End is class. I used to stay in the West End. I know what you're talking about. You're the most outspoken presenter in the UK. Sparky, we have to be. We need to to tell the truth. Have you ever thought about being a teacher? Because you know what you're talking about. That's an idea new. Yes, I shall look into that. So there we go. Now then. Oh. Hang on a wee second, guys. Just blocking an idiot here. There we go. Now remember, guys, if you come on and you put something inappropriate or something I don't like, lifetime ban. Yes. Hi, how are you? So there we go. So what have we got? Bjorn, you can't come out with stuff like that. 
Uh, every night we'd get the wireless on and listen to you on Scott FM. I've uploaded one or two bits and pieces just to give you a smile, guys. So there we are. There's, uh, this guy says, Dirty Rotten Royalist. Now, there's a contradiction in terms. The royals are not dirty. There is nothing rotten about the crown. And everybody is a royalist. So they're regardless of your race, your background, your creed, your color, your religion, all royalists. Everybody that lives in the UK is a royalist or they shouldn't be here. Over here in Northern Ireland, we can do without all the sectarian stuff. It's killed a lot of people. Yes, Dark Fox. Why do Irish people want to fight each other? I don't understand that. <coughs> Were you in still game? I mean, I know I'm absolutely au fait with the history of Ireland. I could tell you all about it. But, um, you know, for goodness sake, there we are. Now, Giza line. A line. To be or not to be. That is the question. There we are. How's that for a line? Can you give a shout out to my friends, please? I can, young dog. Think you do. Can't believe I found you. Used to listen to you on the radio 20 years ago. So there we go. Hi, Scotty. How much longer are you on for? I'd love to watch, but I want to make tea. MSN, you make a wee cup of tea because I'm going to upload this to YouTube later. And you can catch it there on the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. Rangers all the way, says Ethan. All the way where, Ethan? <laughs> Scotty, hello. Scotty, hotty, dinky do. What do you think of William the Orange? Well, the man himself was an absolute disgrace. A shocking, shocking character. Today, he would have been in the jail. So there you are, I can tell you that. But, you know, that's not a comment about all the other stuff, you know. But he, he, he let Scotland down very, very badly, you know. Uh, absolutely. And it was William Pitt that somebody said, the Irish are getting a bit close. Uh, you know, what he was meaning was the ordinary Irish person and the influential Irish people were singing from the same hymn sheet. And somebody said to William Pitt, what shall you do about it? He said, I will use the Orange Lodge to divide and rule. And I think today the Orange Lodge need to be very careful they are not getting used as a political football to divide and rule. Thoughts on Mill Guy? I love it. I remember, was it the Black Bull at Mill Guy? And then I used to take the dog a walk to Mugdock. Uh, can you shout out to my good friend Arnold? I can't out because you don't have a good friend and she's not called that. And she's not a fan of Scotty McClure. So you've told, wait till we see, one, two, three lies. So you're what's known as a deceiver, Arnold. And you need to take a serious look at your life and say, is that the very best that you can come up with in the presence of Scotty McClure's TikTok audience? Is that really as good as it gets in your tiny mind? Or could you do better? Have a think. Have a wee think, Arnold. Yeah, so remember, you've told three lies, so you can't be trusted, and you've told them on Scotty McClure's TikTok, and I've had to call you out. So I can't give a shout out to your good friend, because you don't have a good friend, and if you had, she's not called that, and she's not a huge fan because she doesn't exist. Am I clear, Arnold? Have you got that? Good boy. Right, Scotty, can you say hi to me, please, says Trixie Bubbles? Of course I can. Come on, the cell Texas DM. Ah, oh, yes, I'm on the herbs. The other party will be a list-only party and not challenge the SNP. That makes more sense. The happy squirrel, you think so? Quite interesting. Mon the Scotland, thoughts on Blamange? Well, I haven't had Blamange for some time. 
You know, I used to have these puddings, blancmange. Remember ice cream and jelly? What about that? Anyone remember that? Guys, can you all follow me here? There we are. OMG, you go on a bit too much. Trixie, I have to go on. Otherwise, the trolls don't get their comeuppance. You can never go on too much. So there we are. Do you like Nicholas Sturge and I do? You talk too much. Trixie, what's happening in your wee head is you wish you were me. You would love to talk like I'm talking. So you're telling me to be quiet rather than say, Scotty, I love to hear you talk. I wish I could talk like that. Okay, Trixie, that's what's going on in your head. Alexander Selkirk, is it true he was abandoned on an island rather than shipwrecked? Crab fishing, it might well be Alexander Selkirk. Was he not from London Lynx? Robinson Crusoe. Yes, I think he was from London Lynx. Check your history there. The Black Bull Hotels now, Marks and Spencer, Mugduck is still lovely. When I used to go to Mugduck, the big house in Mugduck, Craig End Castle, that was the home of Yarrows, the shipbuilders. Yes, and the castle was wrecked. It's now done up the other one, Mugduck Castle. Very, very nice. I think, am I right in thinking? Mugduck is in Stirlingshire. Am I right? Have I got that right? There's a Jack. Yes, quite right, Jack. He's calling. There we are. Jack's calling that guy liar, liar. Arnold was playing two lies and a lie. <laughs> the happy squirrel. You are a genius. That's what Arnold was doing. So there we are. Now, who have we got here? Uh, Arnold, you just got owned. Yes. Arnold got handed himself on a plate. Have a nice evening, mate. Logan, thank you very much. Same to you as well. So there we are. Kyle Savage, you need to grow up and think about your life and think what you want to do. If you want to be a top person, Kyle, you'll have to stop talking nonsense like that. What football team do you support? Just whoever's winning, Logan, you know. We love the Celtic. And we love the Rangers, you know, so it just depends. What are your pronouns? You never, ever, 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 Elmir, ask anybody their pronouns. No, no, that's their business. So you don't ask about any of that stuff. Uh, so have you seen Charles Rennie McIntosh statue in Anderston? Uh, no skin, Bob, but I would like to. Uh, Scotty, you're the cleverest person I've ever known. How do you remember all the information? Kiki, it's, uh, it's what I do. I like to inform, educate, and entertain, hopefully. I don't know if I manage all three on here, but we'd, it'd be good for the economy. What would Dark Fox? Uh, do you ken the ken that I ken ken? Says Marty. Oh, ken, Marty, ken. So there we go. As Scotland won the rugby. Woohoo! How do you feel about Scotland beating France, Scotty? Well, France are our old allies. You know what I mean? The old alliance between Scotland and France. If you think, if you look at uh, Robert Bunsey's poem, uh, Tam O'Shanter, uh, when he's passing Kip Alloway that was in a bleeze, all lit up, and the devil, there sat old Nick in shape of beast. And he's talking that they were dancing. Bent new free France was the dance. You see, because of the old alliance between Scotland and France. That's why Scotland should never have come out of Europe. I'm just popping by to say hi. I hope you're doing well. hope you're having a wonderful night. Leon, we are. Thank you for joining us in Dinky Doo. Good night, Scotty, says Brian Blair. Good night, Brian. Take great care of yourself. Dinky Doo. Favourite lager, Scotty? Well, it would need to be non-alcoholic. So there we go. I like you, Scotty, says John. Thank you, John. I like you too. Leave or remain? Well, there was absolutely no advantage whatsoever of the UK coming out of Europe to save a few rich people's tax bills. Well, there we are. So everybody got what from the back there, guys? It's cost us £200 billion and we gained nothing. 
There we are. Oh, yes, bro, says Captain. Thank you, Captain. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Always good to have you with us. Guys, if you've just joined us, follow me, please. You're watching Scotty McClure. Uh, the first lord of the internet, the world's top broadcaster, and we are live on TikTok, big style for you. There we are, Captain Levy, are you a teacher? So there you are. What a very nice thought. Are you superstitious, Scotty? Well, I wouldn't go just wandering under ladders and things like that. We need to stay at home and not holiday abroad to give our economy a boost. Don't you think, Dark Fox? I've been saying that for years. We all used to go to places like Salcoats and Rothsey and that sort of thing. Do you enjoy the rugby and the score? Of course, Kobe. Who would not like to see their country winning? Uh, well, are you a teacher? Well, it sounds like a good idea. So there we are. Fantastic stuff. I'm always trying to teach the people on here to behave and to grow up. Fantastic. So check out the videos on TikTok, guys. I love your hats. I thank you. Guys, it's time I wasn't here, for goodness sake. Who have we got here? There we are. There's that. And I keep a spare badge. Keep one there. There you are. Scotty McLeod. Thank you. That was it. Now, guys, get on to the Scotty McLeod YouTube channel. Fantastic. And have a look at that. Scotty, uh, don't you hate it when someone answers their own question? I do. Oh, skin bob, yes. The badge in your head, not health and safety. Just think, Professor Numpteed, we've got a spare. Round the back, you see, in case one breaks down. There you go. Spare badge. As a, I didn't know Scotland one just finished work. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll have to go and check it out. Don't take it as gospel here. <laughs> I'll tell you. Now, there we are. Scotland are second in the Six Nations. Is that right? I was seeing poor old Jedburgh tonight, where everybody used to go down, you know, for the for the celebrations. So there we go. Yep, 23-27. Evening, Scotty. Rugby boys, well done against France. Oui, oui. Je ne regrette pas, je ne parle pas. Francais, très vite. Good night and sweet dreams. Good night, everybody. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are you ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Au revoir, au revoir, and a cheery Oh, I only found you the other night. I'm glad I did. Dark Fox, Dinky Doo, Skin Bob, Dinky Doo, Angie, Dinky Doo. Night night, folks. Take great care of your dear selves. Join us again soon. Look at every single one of the videos. Follow me. Like the videos. Let's build a proper TikTok live for you. This is Scotty McClue saying Dinky Doo. Ta-ra-las. <laughs>